Welcome to the Foundations Model Render Animate tutorial. In this lesson you will start from scratch to model, render, animate, and simulate a soccer ball. You will create a classic bouncing ball animation using the principles of squash and stretch, apply textures and materials, add lights and cameras, then explore the use of dynamics to simulate a group of soccer balls. These tasks will introduce you to many different parts of Houdini as you create a complete shot, explore the interface, and discover some of its most important tools. To get started, it is important to learn how to work with the Houdini workspace and the three panes you will use the most. The viewport lets you create objects interactively, the parameter pane lets you edit node properties, and the network editor lets you work with the node networks. You'll start by creating a simple box, then extrude and subdivide it. Using Houdini's procedural approach, you can replace the box with the platonic solid. From there, you will adjust the other nodes to make it look like a soccer ball. This ability to swap out input nodes let you prototype networks with simple geometry for added flexibility. Now you get to see the magic as you feed attributes into a for each loop. In this loop, the original patches are extruded even though each of them contain many polygons. This will provide a more leathery look for the soccer ball once you subdivide it one more time. In order to set up materials and textures, it's important to make sure that there are proper UVs set up on your object. Geometry in Houdini does not come with UVs, therefore you must create them yourself. This means adding extra nodes to the network, which in this case means adding UV quickshade and UV flatten nodes. To create a scene for rendering, you are going to bring the geometry into the Solaris or Lops context of Houdini. This is an environment dedicated to look dev layout and lighting and is built on the foundation of USD or Universal Scene Description. This will allow you to render to the Karma XBU render, which works right in the scene view as part of the Solaris workshop. Materials and shaders can also be created within the LOPS Solaris context. This involves adding the materials to the scene graph, then assigning them to the geometry. The materials are created using quick surface material nodes, then assigned using a material linker. To add textures to the backdrop, UVs will have to be created to position the maps properly. In order to create an animation of the bouncing ball, you will start by building a simple rig that will make it easier to keyframe. This will involve setting up null objects so that you can work interactively in the viewport and add nodes to the soccer ball geometry network to accommodate the ball rotation and the squash and stretch. You will now take the soccer ball rig and use it to animate the ball bouncing. You will learn how to set keyframes, adjust animation curves, and work with time-space handles in the viewport. The bouncing ball is a classic animation exercise that offers a great opportunity to learn the basics of animating in Houdini. To render out the animated soccer ball, you will need to go back to the Solaris environment and set up a second shot. You will begin by branching off new lop nodes from the background geometry, then adjusting the lights and cameras to suit the bouncing soccer ball motion. While traditional animation is great for animating a single soccer ball, Dynamics is a better option if you want to animate a bunch of soccer balls. Dynamics requires a simulation so the solver can go frame by frame determining how each of the participating objects interact with each other. You will set up collisions and object settings such as bounce to shape the results. This lesson will touch on many aspects of Houdini and will give you a good introduction to a typical workflow. Good luck with the lesson.